Kids Day class. So on today's tema video, I'll teach you how to sew ladies' casual apparel. First step is to attach the facing to front and back bodies. First, we will prepare the front part. So before attaching the front facing to front part, make sure that you transfer the sewing lines. When transferring the sewing line, always remember that you add one fourth allowance on arm pole, shoulder, and neckline. So one fourth po yung sewing line from the edge. Always do the markings at the wrong side of the fabric para mas malinis yung tinatahimin nyo. So mark the sewing line one fourth from the edge of the neckline, arm pole, and shoulder. Next thing to do is to mark the sewing line on the side seam one half inch from the edge. After markings, let's start attaching the front facing to front bodies. So remember na right side dapat magharap sa right side. So yung nasa ibabaw po ay yung wrong side po ng facing. So we will sew it by one fourth, same sa neckline, one fourth din po. Since hindi available po ang high speed sewing machine sa lahat, pwede po kayong gumamit ng box stitch. So ayan, we will attach the front facing to front part. So one fourth yung seam allowance. So ang ginawa ko, susundan ko lang yung sewing line dito. So, ayan, magpapansin nyo dyan. I just follow the markings. Ayan yung 1 fourth. Next naman, tatahiin natin yung neckline. So, puto muna natin yung excess threads. Yung sunod, tahiin ang neckline. 1 fourth pa rin yan. So, we will follow the 1 fourth allowance. Same thing pa rin ang gagawin natin on the arm hole. Tatahiin pa rin natin ng 1 fourth from the edge. Next naman, makikita ninyo, didem ko sa inyo pa ang i-clip. Make sure na yung clippings po ay hindi lalagpas doon sa tahi. Nakandikit lang sa tahi. Bakit natin ginagawa yung clippings? Para mas smooth po yung curve ng arm hole. Same din sa neckline kasi curve part yun. So magkiklippings din tayo. Ayan, so, dapat maging maingat pa rin sa pagkiklipping. So, ayan, babalik ka rin na natin. Ayan, mapapansin ninyo na smooth yung pagka-curve. Kasi, gumawa tayo ng clippings. So, without clippings, hindi po yan ganyan ka-smooth yung curve po yan. So, now we're done in preparing the front part. So, mapapansin ninyo, in-edge ko po yung facing. So, pag hindi pa rin available ang machine, of course, pwede kayong gumamit ng edge turned and stitch para mas malinis po. Kung hindi naman nagninis-nis, pwede hindi na rin tahiin yung edge. At, pero kung wala pa din, pwede kayong gumamit ng blanket stitch. Next thing to do, i-attach na natin po yung back part. Ayan yung back part. Touch na natin. Right side dapat yan. Ipatong natin yung front part. Make sure na nasa gitna. Ayan, equal space, diba? Then, patong natin yung back facing. Naka, magkaharap uli ang right side to right side. Ayan. Then, tatahiin din natin yan. So, shoulder muna ang uunahin. So, the shoulder, one fourth equal. Mas magandang gumamit ng pin para hindi gumalaw-galaw po yung tinatahin ninyo. So, secure it with pin. Ayan, inaayos ko. Nakikita nyo, di ba? Inigit na ako. Then, pinapantay ko din yung edge. Then, natouch ko yung pin. Para hindi tabingi. Eh. 
Then sew the shoulder one fourth inch from the edge. So kung makikita ninyo, yan, yung front part, kung saan, nag, saan yung gilid ng front part, yan tayo mag start magtahi. So ganun pa din, kapain nyo lang yan. Then, tahian nyo yan ng 1 fourth. So, of course, may curve part uli. As usual, magkiklipings pa rin tayo. But, make sure na hindi tatamaan yung stitch. And, after nyo matahe yung arm hole, yung neckline naman, tahian nyo rin ng one fourth. Same procedure pa rin ang gagawin natin dito sa kabila. So, tahiin muna yung shoulder. After matahi ang shoulder with the back part, tahiin yung armhole and neckline. So, ayan. Ang ginawa ko din sa side seam, in-edge ko din muna. So, pag hindi pa rin, edge turn pa rin ang gagawin natin. Tupi, saka tatahiin. Kung meron namang edging machine, edging machine. Kung hindi naman naginisis yung fabric, walang problema kahit hindi na i-edge turn. So, ipantay yung gilid. Then, tahiin yung side seam 1 half inch from the edge. Next, tahiin naman natin yung kabilang side seam. Ganun pa rin. 1 half inch from the edge. And now, we're done on the upper part of the dress. Pang bata lang yung size na to.